Acne is a disease characterized by the appearance of skin lesions that can appear on the face, neck, chest, shoulders, and back, and is very common during adolescence, although, of course, it can also affect adulthood. Considered that to keep the hair and skin well lubricated, the body depends on sebaceous glands that are located just under the skin. These glands secrete a fat called sebum, which coats the skin and hair to prevent them from drying out. The sebum travels up the hair follicles and out through the pores to the surface of the skin. For their part, the hair follicles usually shed dead cells, which the sebum removes from the body. When the body produces extra sebum, dead skin cells can stick together and clog pores resulting in blemishes and bacteria, which, although usually present themselves in small numbers, can multiply and cause inflammation. Depending on where the blockage is and whether you have inflammation, acne can appear as white-tipped pimples, as blackheads, or as cysts, which are larger, painful, pus-filled, and go deep under the skin. It should be noted that hormonal changes in particular, the increase in testosterone can cause sebum to be overproduced, which is why acne often occurs during adolescence. Other factors that contribute to the development of acne are bacteria, certain medications, and genetics. If you have a mild case of acne, your doctor may recommend an over-the-counter medication with one or more active ingredients, such as benzoyl peroxide, which kills bacteria, dries out excess oil, and removes dead skin cells that clog pores. Another example is salicylic acid, which can delay the loss of skin cells to prevent pore clogging and can also break up whiteheads and blackheads. Hydroxy acids, such as lactic acid, which help remove dead cells, reduce inflammation and stimulate the growth of new skin or sulfur, which removes dead cells and dries excess oil, are other options. These are all strong chemicals that can irritate your skin, so it is important that they are used according to the doctor's instructions. If over-the-counter products aren't effective, your dermatologist may prescribe stronger medications, such as vitamin A, which reduces the buildup of dead skin cells in your pores. Antibiotics apply directly to the affected area to kill bacteria or a combination of oral and external antibiotics for moderate to severe cases. There are cases where an injection can also be given to relieve pain and help heal large injuries. For women, some specialists resort to birth control pills which contain estrogen and are prescribed to minimize the effects of testosterone. It is important to note that regardless of the treatment that the doctor recommends, skin care is essential. For example, the affected areas should be gently washed twice a day with a neutral soap. If you have dry or flaky skin, use a water-based moisturizer. Use oil-free products to prevent pore clogging and avoid squeezing or picking at pimples, as these actions can lead to infection or scarring. 